Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Axe of Godric, a weapon of the Great Axe class with optimal scaling in both strength and dexterity, so it is one of the rare weapons that is actually a quality build weapon, so I'm going to be using it on my quality build. I think for maybe the first time, almost no weapons that I've used have scaled quality better than pure strength or pure dexterity, so this will be interesting. As for the moveset of the Axe of Godric, it is pretty similar to all other Great Axes. It does have an interesting R2. It has a very wide swept slash for the R2 followed by another almost 360 degree slash follow up. And you can fully charge these. They have some good poise so you can trade into your opponent because the charge is pretty long. A lot of people do run in to punish it. So you can maybe get some good damage output off of the trades. It is also a somber smithing stone weapon so you do only have access to the I Command, the Neil Ash of War. But it is very fun. It has a pretty slow startup but a pretty good AoE. So if your opponents do try to rush in and punish it, a lot of the times you're going to trade with them and do some pretty good damage output. You can choose to go for the third part of the Ash of War as well. The first two are mandatory with the initial cast, but the follow-up is up to you if you think you can land it. As for the choice of Talisman, I'm going to be using the Claw Talisman. I really enjoy jump attacks in Elden Ring. It's really easy to delay and get roll catches with, so I like enhancing the damage output of that. I have the Shard of Alexander to boost all the times that I may happen to land the I Command and Neal. I want some good damage output of it if I do land it. And then we have the Crimson and Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost and the Bulgo Talisman for the poise. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first match, we have Crystallian Lord or Crystallian Lord. Hello there, Mr. Wizard. Well, I'm going to just anti-wizard a little bit here. Okay. Just because you will be doing big damage as it is. Oh, that's some packet loss. I'm just going to roll and hope I don't take damage. Oh, I actually dodged his damage. <laughs> That's a first. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh no, well. Your name should be the Packet Loss Lord, so. <laughs> okay, do you want to try to land the Ash of War at least once? <laughs> I think I got a kill with it. Okay, I'll take it. Goodbye, Mr. Wizard. That was kind of terrifying. You never know what they're casting when they're teleporting like that. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Abder. Hello there, Abder. A wizard, I see. Well, not a wizard. A Cestus user, I see. Sorry, I'm scarred from my previous fight with the wizard. You must understand. Wizards are terrifying. Especially the ones that like to just teleport. Oh! That is some really good range. Honestly, caught me off guard that I even connected that. Bam. Gotta watch it. Okay, he's switching to the Night Sword. Okay. I'm on board with that. <laughs> okay, he kind of looks like a little turtle. I like it. <laughs> Play the guessing game. When will I stop swinging? Whoa, that looks strange. Okay. This is actually performing a little bit better than I thought I would. What's he putting on? The feather talismans, I bet? I suppose. I need some more stamina, so we're going to just exist here for a little bit. Oh, very fun fight out there, honestly. Good mix-ups. He's pretty patient. I just happened to land a lot of hits with the axe. And the Ash of War. Yeah, it's some pretty good range, honestly. Maybe to R2? I don't know. We'll see. Moving on to our next opponent, we found the Elden Lord himself. Frostpot opening. <laughs> Backstab. Backstab. How would this do as a wake-up? Find out. Not bad. <laughs> Goodbye, Elden Lord. I will be seeing you. <laughs> Yo, honestly, the Ash of War. Pretty good as a wake up. I have to say. Our next opponent is Zachary. Doing a full Black Knight cosplay. I mean... <laughs> Black Knight. You know, with all the hours I put into Elden Ring, I've still played Dark Souls 3 far more. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever grow away from the way I, I mentioned the name of certain talismans slash rings. <laughs> Even cosplays, to be honest. Oh, I'm getting hit by that, for sure. I command the Neil! <laughs> okay, we're going to have to pay attention here. 
Got quite a lot of damage off of that flaming strike. Let's do this. On the off chance we land it. That was unfortunate, Zach. <laughs> you rolled right into my R1 spam. That is funny. Our next opponent is Zorkon, who also has an axe. Hello there. Level 137 Zorkon with the axe. I like it. A little bit of Storm Stomp. <laughs> okay, so I am going to be watching out for the Storm Stomp. Oh, almost good spacing on that. It doesn't have the most range. The standard axes, anyway. Hyper armor! <laughs> okay, I do want to try to finish with the Ash of War. As hard as that's going to be. Nice! <laughs> the second one got him. Fun fight, man. I don't often see another axe use it. Even if mine is a great axe. Our next opponent is Ferron. Hey. Hello there, Ferron. With a scythe. Okay, we're going with a weapon buff. I'll go with a body buff then. Honestly, I feel like I see the blood flame buff quite a lot these days. It is very good though, to be fair. Honestly, that Ash of War is very slow on startup. Oh my god, I hit the whole thing. <laughs> I'm out of stamina. Storm Stomp on the scythe. That could work. I think the slow startup to that Ash of War is actually more beneficial than we would believe. <laughs> Oop. Well, I meant to bow at you, but sure. I'll eat some meat. <laughs> oh, I queued up really quickly, so we got Ferran again. Hello there, Farron. Ferran. One of the two. You know, this time I'm going to eat the meat on purpose. Alright. I'm ready. Are you ready? Got your buff. Alright, Blood Flame versus Ice. Our one into this ash of war again. <laughs> oh no! Don't roll in, Ferran! No, you got hit by the full thing again! I don't know what the odds are of that, but. <laughs> I like that though, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I can appreciate him, he's gonna go that way. Oh, he did go that way. Can I roll that? Okay, I really need to heal that. The buff on that is nice, I have to say. It is very nice. Oh, that poise broke me as well. I didn't get my hyper armor on my swing. Oh, so close to winning this right now, man. You got this, I believe in you. Oh, that was close. You brought it back all the way from losing a lot of health at the beginning. Really good hits with the scythe. I kept trying to trade it. And I kept getting stunned because I wasn't attacking quick enough. Moving on to our next opponent. It looks like a wizard. Shatterstar Azer. All right, Mr. Wizard. You are indeed a wizard. Light roll wizard, maybe? Hard to say. <laughs> okay. That was a decent trade. Okay, he's not really being a wizard right now, though not wizarding all that much which I can appreciate he's kind of he's trying to mix up the sword attacks with his wizarding Bam! my really slow ash of war that I can't recover the best from I wanted to backstab that but unfortunate <laughs> fun fight mr. sword wizard that was a nice balance usually when I see that they mostly just cast Moving on to our next opponent, we have the River TTV. All right, the River, what do we got? Got a greatsword looking attack. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Very good mix ups on that. I didn't think it was going to come. Well, it was pseudo combo, to be honest. And I even rolled a little bit late. Oops. Yeah, jump attacks are one of the better ways to use greatswords, I find. I do like that my uh, swing is vertical though. Helps it a lot. It's got some casting things going on here. Is he just casting? Oh, did did he walk into my frostbite? <gasps> he did. 
that is. <laughs> so unfortunate. But to be fair, he started doing some long range stuff first. <laughs> like the flies. All right, heading into our final battle, we have uh, Kamurther. Hello there. All right, Kamurther. You have dual straight swords. One is, okay, so we're going with a, a faith build here, it seems. Okay, decent connection, honestly. I like that. Oh, maybe a little bit of latency. Let me test here. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Not a little bit. That's kind of a lot. I will watch out for that. Almost. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Interesting. Endure. Okay, that's different. So he swapped the ones that had the Ash of War. He has the Faith one, but then he has also... <laughs> GG, man. Good fight. What's the other one? Just the long sword? The one that has Endure? Good fight, though, man. Heading into our first invasion, we've invaded zero. Hello, guys. Hello. Leave him alone. Hi there. <laughs> I split them up. That was my plan all along. Hi there. It's a wizard. And a non-wizard. Double moonlight greatswords. You know what? I got frostbite for you as well. Bam. Bam. <laughs> That's a cool looking Ash of War. Not the most damage. But we can make it work. Ooh, we have our lava boy here. Moonlight Greatsword carrying some damage. Chad Blue Balls. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's the wall. <laughs> I kind of want to hit them both as they come out. I'm hoping anyway. Wow. Frostbite pot. Frostbite pot number two. Well, we can get a little bit of regen going then. I think they're doing that over there as well. They want to surround me. I see the plan here. Moonlight like Greatsword. <laughs> I'm out of FP. Oh no. My plan. Um. Aww. Unfortunate. They didn't let me equip the ring because I got hit. Boom. Look at him run. Run, brother. <laughs> Goodbye. One down. Hello. Aw, oh, that is just sad. Unfortunate and sad. Oh, a little bit of latency with this one. That explains why my backstab didn't work. Oh, I wanted to try and get it there as well. Bam. Bam. Okay. Terrifying. Frostbitten. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Cross my pot. Uh, oh, it actually hit him before he healed. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful. Hello. Let me just put on my uh, jump attack talisman. Fancy. I like him. <laughs> now I frostbite you. Okay. I heal now. I want him to jump in against my Ash of War. That'd be nice. Ah, oh, my missed. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hit me. That was a good call. I wasn't thinking he was gonna try to attack right there. Oh, 
I like that his reaction dodging, honestly. Oh! Why did I fall? <laughs> that looked hilarious, but... Wasn't expecting to fall there. Oh, I think he ran out of stamina. Fun fight, though, man. Good work. Moving on to the next invasion. We are in the... Mountain top somewhere, and we've invaded Shulk. Okay. Oh, and Shulk has a teammate. Okay, they're both lead builds. Interesting. Wait, I thought I heard a third one. All right, we're gonna pop your bubble, Shulk. While well, I, I try to avoid all the lightning that is over there. Terrifying. <laughs> oh, he's like an AOE. Oh, that didn't do much, to be honest. Oh, the blood flame buff? Interesting. I never see that used, honestly. Oh, is that dragon breath? That is dragon breath. Oh, I die to that? I'm alive. Very convenient. Okay, let's use our physics class. Sounds like a plan. Nice. Hit him with the ash. Oh, that does good damage. Okay, he's pretty easy to dodge, though. Let's go after you. You're more dangerous than your host because of your phantom health. <laughs> Just breathing dragon breath from a mile away. It's funny. would have heals Mr. Summon. Need more stamina. L2 go. Actually, I'm close to bleeding. Um, we're gonna have to roll through that. Yep. Oh, that's a wall. I'll use that to our advantage. Get some gen going here. Oop. Okay, I'll keep the jump attack boosted. Okay, so he's got the bow. I missed entirely. No, sir. This guy's gonna try to dragon breath at me again at some point. Giant open field, okay. Perfect. <laughs> the ballad of the rivers of blood. Oh god. <laughs> it's like a hair away from letting him. It's funny. Posty, I don't want to kill you first, but you're gonna make me. You will make me. That is healing the host as well. I need to pay attention to that. That is a very high level phantom. <laughs> okay, maybe I can bait them to trading into my Ash of War after. working pretty well. <laughs> Getting some regen while they do this and attack. <laughs> okay. Now we'll heal. Um, I imagine he's gonna... Oh, he's low! Ooh, hello there. I'll probably use this to bait his host. 
I definitely can, yeah. He wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, that's a free Estus. Alright, Shulk, I'm coming for you. <laughs> or I'm missing you. One of the two. Bam. 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 <laughs> Bye, Shulk. I'll see you later. Put these back on. There we go. Alright, moving into the final invasion. We're in the Shaded Castle. Where are they? Oh, I actually see them. Wow. Is he trying to get into the tree? What are they? Hello. Where is your teammate at Defend Room? Defend Room. We going for certain things here or what? That has more range than you'd think. Hey, I mean, it hit you. You didn't think it was going to hit you, but it did. It's a slow ash of war, but it's pretty useful. <laughs> I'm pretty good at the parkour. I do say so myself. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you back into that tree, though. Oh, he's got Ash and one on the way. That's pretty cool. Oh, that would have actually finished him off if I would have landed it. Ooh, wait, is that a, a summon? Oh, that is a summon. Oh boy. Okay. All right, summon. Looks like I'm gonna have to deal with you first. Biome. Biome. I'm gonna go down here to avoid that. If I can. Apparently I can. Biome. Thought an attempt was gonna be made to backstab me. Oh! Is there a wizard up there? And is it a teammate or is it an enemy? Find out. It is an enemy. I now see. Oh, I'm heavy rolling in this. You. Very you. Poison. It's a blue wizard. Fun. Hey, blue. Unfortunate, I'm stuck in this. <laughs> when the PVE helps the host. And the host died. <laughs> Why would you do that, host? You had such an advantage going on there. I don't know why you didn't heal. He was way too aggressive, I guess. All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Axe of Godric. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I like to wear, the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting other weapons, builds, and Ashes of War below. I really do appreciate all the input. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time with the next weapon. Goodbye. Bye.